What is up guys? My name is Christopher Medina. I am your host and I am your hearing care professional. Today I got my co-host Shannon here. How's it going guys? You guys will, he'll take a peek here and there in the cameras. Thanks for uh, Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about hearing aids versus amplifiers, right? All right. Because, you know, I've been getting a lot of patients who are starting to bring these in. People are buying these and thinking they're hearing aids, but they're actually not hearing aids. All right, well, I mean, what, what brought up this this issue, this conversation? Yeah, yeah, so I had this one patient who bought these hearing aid amplifiers and eventually they broke down and, you know, he spent a couple thousand dollars on these and he thought, hey, you know what, I could take them to any hearing aid shop and get these fixed. Mm. But turns out they were amplifiers. So, um, you know, just to go a little bit more into detail on the amplifiers. So amplifiers are more used for recreational use, right? Like, uh, for example, you know, if you're going to watch a movie, uh, you're trying to keep, um, you know, aware of a baby in the house, make sure you hear the baby. Uh, what else? Uh, bird watching, I saw in an article, which is uh, pretty funny and interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, watch too many birds. But, so uh, amplifiers are not to treat hearing loss because they just uh, overall boost all the sound. Okay. Noise, every frequency is being boosted. Now hearing aids, hearing aids are made to treat hearing loss so that you can hear better and that's why uh, when you get hearing aids we do a hearing test first to see where your frequency uh, levels are and then the hearing aids are prescribed to the patient that which means each uh, frequency is adjusted to that patient's hearing loss so that way they only get amplification in the areas that they need so is there a way to get hearing aids without the hearing exam or is that the way that is a determining factor if you're getting a hearing aid versus a hearing amplifier which is the hearing exam itself right or am i am i correct on that am i wrong yeah so a quick tip you know um Hearing aids can only be sold and dispensed by either uh, a hearing aid dispenser like myself okay. or a dispensing audiologist. So right away, if you're buying hearing aids from, let's say I've heard people buy them from Walmart, Amazon, eBay, OfferUp, even Facebook. Facebook is getting a little bit more strict on that because even, um, you know, I've been posting some advertisements for myself, which are real, which I'm a real hearing aid dispenser. They still take it off. But um, yeah, that's, that's your first hint. You know, you don't want to buy uh, used hearing aids. You don't want to buy um, things that look like hearing aids, which are the amplifiers that are supposedly over the counter. All those uh, things are, um, you know, you don't, you don't want to do that because they could be amplifiers or either the hearing aid is not being prescribed to your hearing levels. Got it, okay. Definitely. So, so what are some of the pros and cons then of a hearing amplifier versus a hearing aid? Like what, why should I get a hearing aid versus amplifier? You know, what's, what's the difference? Yeah, so hearing aids, like I said, are being prescribed to your hearing loss, which means they are only going to amplify the areas that you need. Okay. So, and also most of the hearing aids that are out today now are, have a lot of noise reduction features. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're driving, you go to a restaurant, you work in a noisy environment, the hearing aids are going to detect the noise and are going to reduce the noise and focus more on a speech signal. Now, if you're wearing an amplifier, an amplifier has no noise reduction, noise reduction technology and is going to amplify all frequencies together. So, so everything around Yeah, here. so you might have some frequencies that are being amplified which could damage your hearing and you're just going to be hearing a lot of noise and a lot of static and a lot of stuff in the background which is overall still not going to help you hear better because you need uh, just to be amplified in those certain frequencies to have that speech clarity and not be over amplified right right so like, like if you're in a restaurant and you have an amplifier it actually might hurt you because you, all the noises around the kitchen the people it all might just be people talking, plates yeah. hitting, you know, people screaming because they're trying to speak over the noise. All that is going to be over amplified with an wow. amplifier. So, yeah. and the hearing so aid, the is hearing different. aid is just going to amplify those areas. And if you have a premium level technology, then you're probably going to get a good noise reduction, right? Nice. 
That's awesome. I mean, so yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions, you know, post in comments. I appreciate you guys watching some content. And you know, if you have questions, put it down. You have suggestions for our next video, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, like I said, a uh, little bit more into uh, the first story I was talking about. So this patient brought in his hearing aids, I mean his amplifiers, and you know, thought he could repair them. You know, amplifiers, uh, they usually get manufactured by a company and only that company can fix it. If you buy a hearing aid, and hearing aid can be, you know, fixed pretty much at any hearing aid office, you know, whether if it's me, if it's... Uh, Costco, your local hearing aid office, doesn't matter, as long as it's an actual real hearing instrument, then there's there there will be a way to repair the instrument and you know get it adjusted and stuff. Got it, okay. And then any uh, any other cons to having amplifier versus a hearing aid or? um yeah, yeah. Um yeah, I mean, I mean, those were pretty much the, the main ones. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll post an article at the end of the video just so you guys can get a little bit more details about the amplifiers. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, post them in comments. We'll try to answer them as best as possible. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I mean, we're going to try to see if we uh, keep the video short. Uh, we'll try to do it in Spanish. That way, you know, we start uh, uh, letting make sure the, uh, the Latin market can, uh, you know, get a little educated too on the amplifiers right nice. yeah yeah so I appreciate that information guys and again if you feel like your uh, loved one and your parent your grandparent you yourself are wearing something that isn't a hearing aid device remember that there's free hearing exams here at virtue hearing that again is no risk to you guys that you can come in and actually experience the difference between a hearing aid and a hearing amplifier so definitely definitely consider that we're in Montebello, guys, so if you're anywhere in Southern California, it's worth the drive to come out here, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like Shannon said, we do free hearing tests, free 14-day trials. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I wanted to announce is uh, if you have Medi-Cal, you, you, you now don't have to have Medicare to qualify for hearing aids. Oh, wow. Now, we just have to make sure, you're in the, make sure you're in the correct plan. So if you have any questions about your insurance, also, feel free to contact us and we'll try to help you out as best as we can. All right? All right. Sounds guys. good. Yeah, Anything else you want to add, Shannon? I think that's about it, man. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.